Today we're at beautiful Silva Bay. We're going out with Bob Meyer, a local fishing legend. He's been guiding here on Gabriola Island for over 30 years. He knows every fish by name, and today he's gonna introduce us to some. Let's go fishing. Right now we're, we're at the Grandy. Grandy is right there. It's that red building on the shoreline. That's a really old hotel from old today. Famous, is that why it's called the Grandy? Because yeah. the hotel Yeah, it used name? to be called the Grandy. It's now called uh, Dragon's Lodge. Dragon's and that's gone through several owners over the years. It was actually built back in the 60s. And and you've been fishing here for for over 30 years. You've been guiding I, here for I, I've been guiding years. for 30, but I've been fishing here for 48. And so What, what attracted you to, to Gabriola? It was actually the fishing. It was funny and just the lifestyle here. I used to just jig. I had a little 12 foot uh, aluminum boat and my first probably, I mean, downriggers weren't even invented then. So, I mean, it was just all jig fishing and totally different. Like the fish would come right up on the surface. You could fish 30, 40 feet deep and just add a little aluminum boat and catch all the fish you wanted to catch back in the day there back in the 70s. They were a lot just, bigger than that too of course. Uh, not necessarily no? bigger but just way more plentiful. I mean so many coho and and uh, I mean back in those days you could keep a 12 inch Chinook you know. <laughs> you could keep a 12 inch Chinook. A little pan fry. Yeah a little pan fry. Yeah. So. Definitely one thing about fishing on the east side of Vancouver Island you can use any color you want as long as it's green. <laughs> That goes back so far when I first learned to fish here in the 70s. It was green flashers, green and white hoochies, you know. It was like it's just so steeped in tradition that it's almost ridiculous. Oh my god, a fish. Oh, oh, oh. What the? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, it's taking line. It's taking line. We got ourselves a salmon on. All right, he's taken. There we go. So you always want to keep your tip up as high as you can. Let them run when they want to run. When he comes towards the boat, that's when you want to pull the line in. The whole key to landing a fish, and boy, now I'd really better land it, <laughs> is letting the fish get nice and tired and enjoying playing with the fish. Here we are, we're already on the surface, guys. <laughs> Where do you want to bring them? Okay. Nice fish. That is a nice fish. Nice fish. Yeah, yeah. We'll there we go. Yeah. Yay! All righty. We got a fish. Take a look That's at a that, guys. Fish. That's a beauty. There's a nice one. Beauty fish. Okay. Right. Oh, so there we go. That's what we're talking about. Oh, East there. side of Gabriel Island. This is Nanaimo fishing, right here. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna run mine about 120 on this side. You can run that one at 135 if it goes down that far. Got that dirty water. You got all that Fraser flood water here. It's like fishing in a big mud puddle. Got money water. Money, money water. <laughs> but it's really hard. Like there is really a lot of current out here the other day. Um, I was trying to check the rotation of the flashers and you can't see the stupid things underneath that dirt, right? right? So it was totally futile. I was trying to I finally that was when I went I just went back to the Grandy. We fished here for about an hour. Yeah. It was so hard to do that I quit and then we went back where we fished this morning and popped five quick fish, but um, anyway, we'll try it here. There's little bits of bait and stuff showing here. Hey, hey, knocking at the door. He's just kind of holding fast. It's like, I'm just staying he's here. Big. Maybe it's a nasty and angry. Not, he's not going anywhere. He's just a little guy. Hmm. Come on, man. Interesting fight. Do you want to pull? There. Or non fight? Just a tiny little pull <laughs> here and there. What do you got? That was a very weird fight. It was super weird. Just kind of swam along with it. 
He's still fighting really weird. Come on, little fella. What do you got? Oh, he is too. Look at that. Ooh, 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 ooh. He's a fighter too. And there we go. Well, he's not a bad little fish. <laughs> Look at that. That was a weird That was a fight. weird fight. That was a weird fight. Huh. Go Jeez. figure. Let's see what this guy's got. That's not a bad little fish. That's a nice table. It's a nice little table, man. Nice little table fish right there. Okay. That's a very odd go. fight. You clean him off. <laughs> well, something's come off there. There he is. Yeah, you're going to have to do the netting, Bob. Unless you want me to gaff it or jump in and grab it with my teeth. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Look at that one. Okay. You got it? Oh, thank you. Got it. Oh, nice. Got it. Right. What do we got? What do we got? You like it? You don't even know. Then you can clean it. You can come to that side. Yeah, this one's a white. I might just touch it. That was our day on Gabriola Island. It was just so much fun. It was beautiful conditions, fantastic fishing. I just want to thank, thank Bob so much for taking us out. Bob Meyer, Silver Blue Charters. If you want to go fishing on Gabriola or around Nanaimo, you got to come see Bob. Thanks so I, much. I enjoyed the day so much with you guys, and you're just welcome back anytime. It was really, really fun fishing with you guys. We're going to take you up on that. Okay, do it. See you out there.